media speaking of teachers not making it oh man the, um so y'all heard about the, the the guy who was you know he was letting the kids unbraid his hair mm -hmm. and he recorded it right or was on tiktok something like yeah that. recorded it had it on tiktok and um they didn't know like that Right, because yeah, yeah, he it was like what like three or four girls they had combs in their hands and yeah, he's like eating yeah. some chips or something or eating while they're yeah. taking it out. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so you know, so it went down. He got fired. Yeah. Then he made a TikTok video afterwards, and um, he was all crying, boo hooing. You know, I'll and they had like first of all, can we point out that when he recorded the one where he was crying, he said, I got a text message. So now you have students that are obviously under 18 texting you. That didn't make right, it. Right, right, right. Right. So it, so the thing with the guy, man, like people, some people were kind of, I don't know, it's kind of 50 50, I think. Some people were like, you know, oh man, he seems like a caring teacher and, you know, and it, firing him was too much. It wasn't that big a deal. And then some other people were like, you know, he was unprofessional and he was on some weird stuff. Now, <clears throat> at a glimpse, from my teacher standpoint, I was like, oh man, it seemed like you care, okay. But then my professional experience side, a little bit closer, I was like, wait a minute, hold on, wait a damn minute, hold on. So, <laughs> I so I was like he seemed kind of weird, man. I don't know. He seemed a little weird to me. Um, you know, just the whole bestie thing. Yeah. You know, and then just being too friendly with kids. I don't like kids touching me. I would never well, in my life. I I, I'm not a toucher. You, I, I, I give pounds. You're a man with a bunch of female students. First of all, you're supposed to be in class, right? Y'all supposed to be in class, and you're just sitting there getting your hair done. Nah, son, no boy. Uh, well, well, what I what I would say, man, I would ask who was his mentor because he's a younger guy. Who was his mentor? Because you gotta know the ledge, man. It's it's a it's a profession. It ain't like you're not just jumping in to be somebody's big brother. It's a profession, so there's 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 things you got to do. You definitely don't want females um all on you, and blood, and you don't want to be recording kids and putting them on TikTok. Exactly, that, that, exactly. that's probably what got them the most hit. Because I think it's the recording too. Yeah. I yeah, think you, you can't be recording kids and putting them on your social media, and then you got them undoing your hair. That's man. well, was he recording or one of the young ladies recording? It don't matter. He, 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 no, no, no. I'm just he saying he posted. maybe he didn't know. I'm not saying it's what, good. The, well, the way the way it looked, it was in, it, it was intentionally filmed to be reposted somewhere, and um, nah, you, you can't do that because I, you know, like like I, I did national boards and stuff. You know, you record your class and all that stuff. Well, you gotta get releases, man. You gotta get. Well, I'm about to say, don't you have to sign something? Because I know what my yeah, kids are. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, get, you gotta get releases and permission, and and usually that. it's not releasing it on TikTok, but yeah. not on TikTok, not on your social media. So, and then the the response video he did with the crying and stuff. I don't know. I'm just not with it. I don't know. It's just, yeah. it just, it just felt like we're gonna make a TikTok and cry. I don't know. I don't know. Is that young? Is that young stuff, man? I was gonna say it may have also been the age um, where we get yeah. on and we have to show everyone we're sorry and sympathetic. But yeah. and I yeah. felt there was a part of me that felt bad. But then as I processed, I was like, did he pull his cell phone out and say these minors text him? Like, e, it's making it bad. <laughs> it's making it bad all over again. So yeah. Yeah. So I mean, we want people that care, and uh, you know. And I don't know, and I don't know how what, how he was in the building. He might, you know, he, he might. They said he had a good, great reputation and relationship with all of his students. Like he's from the conversations, right? Yeah. They said he was a phenomenal <clears throat> teacher, um, and, and like I said, had a great relationship with his with his students. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, to your to what you said earlier about some weirdo stuff. Like I heard a lot of. Um, commentary on the radio from major personalities saying, you know, that he had some pedophilia, pedo, 
pedophilia um kind of tendencies and stuff and i'm like whoa y'all uh, y'all yeah. going too far now like yeah, my god um day. right and, and from the standpoint of pearl what you were saying you know you got you're an adult male with these adolescent middle school girls taking your hair out like that is so inappropriate and this that or the third which it is right but to to go to the extreme of calling saying this dude is a pedophile pedophile mm -hmm. like come now, on man. y'all i'm come saying on, i think he's lucky he got fired because it could have been worse it could have been one of them girls say he touched me inappropriately and now your whole career would be questioned you know mm -hmm. what i mean well, i mean it was on camera but yeah but that that's just you know, you gotta know the ledge as a you know in that profession. Like I'm, I'm never, you never, you never see me alone with no with no kid in a in a classroom locker. Mm -hmm. room. Nah, you gotta do better than that to get the kid. I don't give kids no, you know, like especially the females. I don't give them rides home and stuff like that. Um, you know, so but you I, know, I, Tyrone, yeah. you what you were saying about mentorship. I I strongly believe. Like any new teacher needs to have a true seasoned mentor to to explain this because I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of new teachers. I'm thinking of one in particular. She was she was super dope. Um and she had a good relationship with all her students, male and female. Um, and she would do TikToks and stuff with the kids or whatever, and they just had this 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 relationship. But I had to sit down and help her understand. Number one, if they're not of age, even though you have social media, do not befriend these little children. And I say little, even if, again, if they're under the age of 18, you do not befriend these people because what will happen is case in point. And I'll use me, this show. Um, not not to my knowledge, not now one of my students that are underage is sitting here watching me to go back to my administrator or my school district and say, hey, I saw Doc on this on this live podcast, the experience, and she was up there talking about wah, 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 and whatever. Yeah. No, yeah. ma'am, no, ma'am, and no, sir. Mm -hmm. um, you, you know what I'm saying? And, and yeah. so... And and even with that being said, um, that's number one. Like I try to help young teachers understand you don't don't do that. Don't give out your phone number to your point, Pearl. Why do these children have his phone number? What are you calling him for? Correct. Um, uh uh. Um and 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 what Tyrone said earlier, I really believe that that's a lot, a lot of school policy regarding transporting students home we don't supposed to transport any male or female in our personal car for liability reasons because if we get in our accident the parent can yeah. sue us mm -hmm. but um and i'm broke so don't <laughs> no, do i'm broke mm -mm. Mm -mm, baby i'm paying back these student loans i can't do nothing all this doctor money is going to student loans with a little bit i got um but the other thing is even if you get permission especially with a female um like coach would ask me to go ride along with him like it wouldn't be just him by himself if that was the situation just to make sure that there was not a situation where someone could um make those type of accusations, accusations and accusations yeah. absolutely yeah. yeah so he kind of put himself in a you got you got you got, you got no, no a little bit yeah, you gotta know your policies now. I would, you know, maybe know your policies. Believe me, like during football season, I, I'll give. Uh, sometimes I'll give uh, a couple of boys right homes, but it's always like more than one, and they always getting off at the same place. And yeah. and there's permission. And I check and I go, is this something? Like, yeah, 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 you can do that. I got and, you. But uh, you know, that's 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 a common thing in football. But yes. but that, that girl track season. Oh no, y'all gonna sit there and wait. <laughs> wait. Right. I'll put my AC on and wait for him to get there. But yeah. But the, but the positive thing is, in all in all probability, 
he probably because I think he's in Georgia, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't he in Georgia? In in all probability, because <clears throat> it's all out there right now, he might have to kind of chill out for a minute. Mm -hmm. Um, and he definitely probably won't get another job in the state of Georgia. He gonna have to truly relocate after this die down. And I promise you, he'll somebody will pick him up because we need black yeah. male teachers in yeah. like in our schools, like black teachers. Period. Mm -hmm. But we definitely need male teachers. Um, regardless of the race, we need male teachers in these yeah. buildings. So yeah, I'm sure he'll bounce back. But right now, baby, you gonna have to. You gonna have to walk this dog. Yeah. Get you a get you a good hairstyle. I know teachers ain't getting paid that much, especially the young ones. But you gotta figure that out, young man. You know. So good luck to him. Yeah. Oh, and and why you man? If you smart, you do a podcast, a TikTok or something, and take advantage of the buzz. You know why? Why you? Why you ain't got no job? Get some TikTok money. Get some get some social media money. All the other young people are doing it. Somebody, they they. You know, take advantage of it. I don't know. But good luck to you. And uh maybe you wanna get you a ball fade or something. I don't know. Not a ball. <laughs> what? Mm. 